When Laura Z. Hobson's great story, Gentleman's Agreement, first appeared serially in Cosmopolitan magazine, its 20 million readers were startled at its daring. As a book, Gentleman's Agreement still leads all bestseller lists month after month. No story of the last decade has hit the literary world with such terrific impact. The author has deftly treated a taboo topic to give it excitement, exhilaration, and entertainment. And now, as a motion picture, Gentleman's Agreement is accorded the highest honor a picture can be given. Here we see its producer, Daryl F. Zanuck, receiving the Academy Award for the best picture of the year. To do the screenplay, Mr. Zanuck engaged Moss Hart, who wrote Lady in the Dark, The Man Who Came to Dinner, and other great stage hits. For director, he chose Elia Kazan, whose talents now win the Academy Award for the best direction of the year. In selecting the cast, the roles were filled with unusual care. The part of Phil Green, the fighting author, was given to Gregory Peck. Well, face me now, Miss Wales. Come on, look at me. Same face, same eyes, same nose, same suit, same everything. Here, take my hand. Feel it. Same flesh as yours, isn't it? No different today than it was yesterday, Miss Wales. Dorothy McGuire was chosen to play the emotional but confused Kathy. I don't have to kiss you in public. I've got a nice dark taxi outside. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on. Don't just stand there. To play Dave, Phil's understanding friend, the preference was John Garfield. I wonder if you'd feel so ill now, Kathy, if... if you had nailed him. You know, there's a funny kind of elation about socking back. I learned that a long time ago. Phil's learned it. The part of the forthright, hurt and frustrated Anne went to Celeste Holm, who in this role wins the Academy Award as the best supporting actress of the year. Then there's Anne Revere as Phil's understanding mother, June Havoc as Miss Wales, Phil's secretary, Albert Decker as the sympathetic publisher, Jane Wyatt as Kathy's snobbish sister, Dean Stockwell as Tom, Phil's young son. Don't shout. I know what you're thinking about marrying me. I saw it on your face when I said that to Tom. And don't treat me to any more lessons of tolerance. I'm sick of it. I am not going to marry into hothead shouting the nerves, and you might as well know it. <laughs>